You and your friends are dead. Game over. Today's review, we're going to be having a look at the Funko Pop 8-Bit Friday 13th. This is the GameStop exclusive NES Jason. To figure out how tall NES Jason stands, we'll put the tape measure right next to him. There we go, that might be right. I think that's, I think that's right. You're looking at 3.8 inches in height, or in centimeters, that works out to be 9.7 centimeters. To also show you how he stacks up, we'll put him next to the original Jason. Move him over a little bit. And we'll put him next to NES Freddy. You know, I didn't realize that NES Freddy or 8-bit Freddy, I should say, because we haven't looked at NES Freddy yet. Uh, I didn't realize how much bigger he appears, and it's simply just because of the hat that makes him tower over the two Jasons. But I do really like these quite a bit. Like I said, the uh, review of NES, I kind of just give it, gave it away a bit, but NES Freddy will be coming in the immediate future. But of course, we want to have a look at NES Jason first. Of course, one can easily see that these are the exact same figure to one another, other than, much like every other incarnation of NES Jason, it's simply just a swap out of colors. So instead of the more dingier olives and grays, what we are now treated to is vibrant purple and vibrant blue. I must say, it works extremely well here on Jason. The only thing that still stays as a consistent between the two is his machete. Now his machete is still painted white with the pixelized blood on the tip of it. But what's interesting though, is that the handle portion that was on normal Jason, which was in brown, has now been pixelated in white. I don't know why they, I guess they just want to keep it as one consistent color because probably in the game, his machete is just a solid color. But other than that, I mean, it's the exact same Jason. I really like this one quite a bit. I have to admit, though, I'm really digging the look here of NES Jason. Of course, again, all the colors here are now in purples and blues, just like it was in the game, just like many of the versions of Jasons that have come out in the NES style have been made up of the same purple and the same blue. Um, again, looking really good on him. The squinted or slightly deformed eye on the left, the more regular eye on the right, even like the eye shape, normally on a regular pop would be a circular shape. Here instead, you get a plus shape kind of playing into the pixelized look. Spots have now made up the majority of his mask, just kind of giving you that sense of air holes. And they've even given him a slight bridge on the nose, just that little area in which it would stick out slightly further on his mask. The chevrons here normally would have been painted here in red, are now just simply just omitted completely out. They're there but they're there with the same coloring as the rest of the mask. If anyway, I was wondering, no, the mask is not removable. In fact, nothing really on this guy is removable at all. I still feel the same way as I felt when I looked at the NES um, or the 8-bit Freddy. Part of me feels like this is made up of Lego. In fact, it's very misleading because if you look at it, you feel as if it has been comprised with building bricks. And quite further from the truth, you really can't simply take anything off of Jason here, nor is there any posability. The 8-bit variety of these two characters, these two camp killers, uh, none of them have any sort of posability to them. Basically, what you see is what you get. I really quite liked Jason, but you know, there's something that have al has always warmed my heart in some twisted way. NES Jason has always stood out as one of my personal favorite designs for the character. Anytime that there's an NES release of this guy, or even like in the Friday 13th game, which has now an NES inspired costume, it's usually the one I jump to first. This particular one was only released through GameStop, so its availability was a little bit more trickier. I ended up having to pick him up on eBay, but I'm really pleasantly happy I shouldn't say even pleasantly, because pleasantly implies the fact that I wasn't going to be happy with this, and now, surprisingly, I'm happy with it. I knew I was going to be happy with it, because physically, seeing what this guy was doing, I knew NES Jason was just going to be that much bit better. 
even like the like the, the real rips in his in his costume which now is one consistent purple other than the darker shade that's in the middle it still kind of looks like it's a bit of a dark gray he's got rips also on the back exposing a little bit of that blue and about the only other thing that doesn't get the otherwise purple and blue color is the little uh, ringlet on the back of his strapping here just to kind of keep his hockey mask in place I can't really think of anything I would have done differently to this again it's really having the best of this release of Jason simply just in the NES colors here for those not lucky enough to have a GameStop in their local area I'm putting up my hand right now I had to go online and I had to find this guy for myself the good thing the good news about that is picking him up online the price point on him isn't staggering it seems like the availability on this guy was just as good as the regular 8-bit Jason just for the fact that you had to go to a certain store to get him so it's not going to break your wallet if you want to pick this one up for yourself I admit that this is probably catering itself to a certain certain niche of collectors not everybody's going to really pick up a Funko Pop to start off with I myself including myself in that list but then on top of that not everyone is going to be gearing up to pick up a Minecraft pixelized version of Jason I happen to fall into that category even though I don't normally pick up Funko Pops I do like the pixelized look of this Camp Crystal Lake killer it just looks really good as a pixel I pixelized 8-bit character and then on top of that you give them Jason colors from the NES Nintendo game well now we're talking this is a really neat looking pickup not really sure which one I like more whether I like this one or the original I like quite quite a bit both of them I'm gonna be definitely looking forward to having a look at the NES Freddy and yes the review of him will be coming soon so stay tuned for that in the meantime, like I said, if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, you have three options. You can either check out your local GameStops if you have one. Second option is you can look online if you want to get them that way. And the third option is you can pass all together if this isn't your cup of tea. My cup of tea just so happens to be NES Jason, so this really was a no-brainer to pick up. Today we were having a look at the Funko Pop 8-Bit. This was the Friday the 13th GameStop exclusive NES Jason Voorhees. A really nice little pickup. If you guys haven't had a chance and wanted to go back and have a look at some of my other Funko Pop reviews, I know it's few and far between, but uh, certainly we're going to have a look at some more 8-Bit renditions of these guys as we're still going to have a look at the NES uh, Freddy. That's going to be coming soon. And I just recently got the NES Alien which I think was also a GameStop exclusive as it had this slightly colored shades on the one side. The one side was orange, the one side was blue. Uh, got that actually in a subscription box. So we're going to have a look at that one in an upcoming review as well. Either way, guys, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below as certainly a whole lot more videos are coming your way. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.